They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? <laughs> he said, Lord, I want to see. He replied, and Jesus said to him, receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Oh, that we would come to a place of desperation and spiritual weariness, physical weariness even, emotional weariness, brain weariness, that we finally cry out from the deepest place in us, I want to see. I want to see. It's funny, when you look at the Bible, there are some topics that, that become suddenly very apparent that they're important topics to God. You see it through God's redundancy, where God will take a topic and he'll deal with it from different angles over and over and over and over again. This happens to be one of those topics. This happens to be one of those areas of great concern for God, our ability to see. And while the natural, of course, is very important because I can't imagine and take a moment and try to imagine because most of you already have done that. Imagine life if you could not physically see how that would change things. I know it would hone our touch skills and our hearing skills and our smelling skills and all that, but it still would never take the place of seeing now, would it? It would change everything. You would have to operate in what you hear. You would have to operate greatly on imaginations, what you think about something based on what you heard or how it smelled or how it felt. Imagine how it would change life if we could not see, and God knows that spiritually even more than physically. Solomon understood that. That's why Solomon said this in Proverbs 29. It's, a, it's been quoted many times. Where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint. But blessed is he who keeps the law. Maybe you're used to it more in the King James. It says, for lack of vision, my people perish. For lack of the ability to see, revelation, vision, the ability to see. They cast off restraint. I've explained that verse to you many times through the years. Casting off restraint means because we can't see it, we don't know how to discipline ourselves and conform to what we see. We cast off restraint and we're just all over the board. We're all over life. Man, we're here and we're there and we're just, every, every, every wind picks us up and carries us somewhere new. Every, every time we turn news on, it moves us in a different direction. Every time something happens in our marriage or with our kids or at work or in life or in our bodies, we're just tossed and turned all through life. We have no restraints to discipline us to get us focused and running our race. Pick out a target and go to it. That's what happens when we have no vision, when we have no revelation, when we can't see, we don't know where to go. So we just start going everywhere at the same time. Where there's no revelation, where there's no vision, God's people perish. 